This is Todd Stoop, actor who is currently kicking butt. Peter Facinelli has joined us today. Do you ever play stoop ball? Have you ever played? I, no, I don't know how to play. You just throw the ball, and if it hits the stoop and it bounces first, it's five points. If you hit the stoop and you catch it in the air, it's ten points. Okay. If it hits the the, uh, the peak here, yeah. that's a hundred points. A hundred points? If you could play up to like a thousand. We'll have to play one day. We'll have to play one day. Your intimate knowledge with stoop ball comes from your upper knee in Ozone Park Weeks. I had a stoop, yeah. <laughs> Which my, my mom had this uh, this metal door, like it was the screen door, and it was all, it was all dented from my ball. She didn't like that much. Your parents are Italian immigrants. Yeah. How did their experience being immigrants in America affect your experience growing up here? Wow, my family brought a lot of culture to my world. They have a love for cooking, so that's always a, a plus. How do you keep your girlish figure? <laughs> I don't go to mom's house that much anymore. <laughs> Why don't you I ever just, I just TV? call. My dad's a hard worker. He, he had two jobs, and he worked six days a week, so I think I get my hard work ethics from him. He was a professional waiter, which there's not many of left, but he worked like all the steakhouses, you know, professional steakhouses in Manhattan. and. Um, he served four presidents. He served a lot of movie stars. I, I always say my dad waited tables so that I didn't have to <laughs> as an actor. I never had to wait a table. My dad waited for 40 years. We'd like a moment alone. No, we wouldn't. You can stay. You are really having a moment right now. <laughs> Nurse Jackie is such a successful show where you play Dr. Cooper. And then, of course, The Twilight Saga. Heading into your fourth film, you are the dad. How do you do it? Years and years of practice. I play Car Dr. Carlisle Cullen in, in The Twilight Side. I play two doctors. I'm, I'm the two out of three doctors that recommend things. Do you think the universe wants you to be a real doctor? You know, I don't know, but I think I can probably perform surgeries in at least two states. <laughs> states of delusion, states of uh, depression. Wow, sounds <laughs> awful in so many ways. <laughs> The fans of the Twilight Vampire series are maniacal, crazy. People go nuts passion. for this. What do you think it is that brings out that kind of passion? How do you describe the mystique? I think, that for me, I, I mean, there's a sensuality about vampires. Can I ask one thing? Kiss me. And there is a mystery there, and, um, and, and you know, I think people they just have a fascination also with uh, longevity, like, uh, you know, living forever. Let us see if she is immune to all our powers. Would you want to live forever? I would love to live forever. Really? I love life. If people around <laughs> you are dying, you still want to stay alive? Yeah. You, need, you meet new people. Fight me. <laughs> Does that, will that help? <laughs> well, what you're doing now is giant. You have been in some smaller things. Yeah. You need some help? Yeah, I'm, I'm real clever. Perhaps notably, an unfinished affair where you met your wife, right. Jenny Garth, very famous for her 90210 days. Sounds like a good opportunity. She's an actress. You're an actor. You're having a pretty awesome time right now of things. She's working a little bit less. What's the competition like in your household? There's no competition between my wife and I. I mean, it's, it would be silly for us to have competition. Um, I mean, we, we don't go up for the same job, so. <laughs> um, she's very happy being mom. So you have three daughters. Yeah. You're married. <clears throat> and I have to imagine a lot of the fans of the Twilight Saga are women. So your life is like, like an estrogen circus. I'm used to that. I, I grew up with three sisters and, and a mom and my grandma, you know. So I grew up in a house full of women. And now I have a house full of women again. I have three daughters and my wife. Uh, we have a nanny, a female assistant, two female dogs. I don't, there's no male, I have no, <laughs> there's no other male uh, people in my house. I, I, they don't allow them. I know you take your success seriously and it's not just something to have fun with, it's something to use. And you give a lot of time to nonprofits. Today we're here to talk about Kids and Cancer. Yeah, I, I'm working with uh, Glad Products and, and Cookies for Kids Cancer to raise funds to, uh, for pediatric re uh, cancer research. So uh, what we're doing is in November we're doing a bake-off uh, with Je Gemma Mays and Joan Cusack. We have this, this one day where we're going to do this competition and you can go online as we're baking and you can buy these cookies and, and it's as simple as that. You, you buy these cookies and uh, Glad is going to match up to $200,000 for, for the profits for uh, cancer research for pediatrics. And, uh, and, and if people want to get involved and they want to bake their own cookies, they can also hold their own bake sale and Glad, again, will um, you know, match the funds up to $200,000. Maybe we'll do that. I'll do a stoop sale. Yeah, stoop you have to go to gladtogive.com. Gladtogive.com. Yeah. And if you go to gladtogive.com, you can sign up for uh, 
my page and support me because I have to win the competition? No, do not sit here and promote your no, own I, personal cause. We're going to help the children. <laughs> and help the children at the same time. And help me. Help me help them. Help you. Thank you for being on Talk Thank Steve. You. Thank you for having me.